Our next award is for a Lifetime Achievement Award. Shall I come to you? Yes. Okay. Good looks come yes. quickly. That's it. You're not forgetting. All right. It is a great pleasure that I present to you. I'm going to call a doctor. It's an honorary doctor, as far as I'm concerned. All of her, her achievements in being an unsung heroine in the civil rights movement. I'm going to refer to her as Doctor Lula White. Lula White is presented a Lifetime Achievement Award from the Southern Connecticut Chapter of Union Black Episcopalians. White's activism began in 1960 when she was a student at the University of Chicago. She joined the Freedom, Freedom Riders Movement Amen. after seeing a photo of one of the buses lit on fire. Mm. During one ride, when she entered a white-only waiting room at a bus station, she was arrested for refusing to leave. Mm. Lula graduated from Hill House, James Hill House High School in New Haven, and earned a bachelor's degree in education and a master's degree in history from the University of Chicago. She also received an honorary doctorate in humane letters from Albertus Magnus College. Lula White represents the unsung heroes and heroines of the American Civil Rights Movement. Mm. Martin Luther King, John Lewis, and Ralph Abernathy, Ralph Abernathy did not do it alone. Many students, like Lula White, made sacrifices for the struggle for civil rights. So if it wasn't for you and your colleagues, you Dr. King couldn't do his job. We will be here. And this is uh, presented to Lula White. It is signed also by our regional director, Reverend Colin, Do the Reverend Canon, Dr. Lynn A. Collins, myself, President of this chapter, and Canon, Vanessa Cannon, our uh, national president. I want to thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much for this award. It means a lot to me. Take your time. Amen. Thank you. The church is very important to me, but so is any religion. You don't have to be in the Episcopal. I was thrilled when I was in jail at Parchman Penitentiary in Mississippi for July and August 1961. I was very thrilled when the rabbi from Jackson drove up to, to, to visit. We weren't allowed visitors. Most, your family couldn't come to see you. Your friends couldn't come to see you. But the rabbi came, and he was the third religious person to come. The first one was a Southern white Baptist who said that we were going straight to you know where because we were violating God's laws. The second religious person who came was the priest, a Roman Catholic priest. He didn't make any comment, pro or con. But he did give communion to all the Catholic girls. That was not one. Wow. And then the rabbi came, and he took down our names, our parents' names and addresses, and he wrote each one of them, saying, I've seen your daughter today, and she's well in body and in spirit. And that took a lot of courage, because the same people who didn't like blocks also didn't like Jews. Mm -hmm. And I imagine he did the same thing for the men, and I was just thrilled. Mm -hmm. I mean, he was the Christian of the day. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.